This is the Violent Professional Podcast brought to you by <laughs> EvilVibesCo.com ah! Yeah, the movie's fucking crazy. Just super weird. There's one... <laughs> You'll laugh at... There's a chick that kills herself in there. Yes. When she's... When she's doing it, she... <laughs> this bitch ate all the... Like, they had a little candy bag, and that's all they had left for food. <laughs> <laughs> two people fell asleep and it shows her she's like laying on her stomach she's like just eating all the fucking candy and she just doesn't care how, how are they not gonna know it's her yeah so the next morning there's only three people at this point the next morning they wake up and it just shows them walking i'm like okay so obviously they know and she's walking in the back she's just like guys i'm really sorry <laughs> and you just say it's sorry and they're just like ignoring her like this fucking bitch so they get up to the top of this cliff and she like Turns and looks and just walks straight towards it. And then it does like a, a view from like way far away. And it shows her just walk off the edge and just drop. Just straight down. <laughs> does, you're like, what? She just, she's gone just like that? She feels that bad. And then the other two don't even bother like looking or anything. They just keep walking. Fucking weird. <laughs> it's super weird. Well, more of that to come. This is another Evil Vibes um, podcast. That's how I'm going to start it. Have in my hand, Yellow Brick Road. Uh, I believe it's independent film. Yes, I believe so. <laughs> I don't know for sure. I don't think it could be. <laughs> it's like... it, yeah, it's some. Um, forgot the name of the the people that made it. They they showed it. It was like some fucking weird name. It's a, it's a AMC independent film. Yep. Um. So today. I woke up. I was getting my my son Jacks ready to go, and there was a fucking beetle like walking up the the fucking uh, the wall mm -hmm. inside. Yeah, and so I was like, I scared him. I called him out um, of his room and said, like, look to your left, and he's like, because <laughs> ah! you know, he's eight or whatever. Death but from above. He, he doesn't like bugs for whatever reason. But I put it on my hand, and then. He thought I was going to go after him like just a dick. <laughs> what a total dick move, right? Yeah. Um, You're an asshole, Dad. Yeah, but I didn't. I just went to the window and like tossed it out. And it was some fucking weird like leaf looking bug or whatever. Weird. And um, and like tossed him out the window. And then uh, from there I went, you know, <clears throat> got him ready out the door to school and all that stuff. And I didn't think of it. Um, but I like I went and grabbed some food, some breakfast, and like just was throwing it in my mouth. And this is relatable because I, as I was eating, I was like, "What if that fucking bug laid eggs on my fucking hand and I'm digesting? <laughs> I'm like putting them in me." Parasite. Yeah, dude. Like I was like, you don't think about that because I don't like handle. People don't think about yeah. That. But that's a, a real possibility. Yeah, like absolutely. Uh, cockroaches and all different kinds of fucking thing. It wasn't a cockroach. It was just some fucking random flying beetle that I've never seen before. Um. And I was like, if I pop some fucking eggs in my <laughs> mouth, how would that change my life? <laughs> you you think about like weird ways you can die mm -hmm. and like what if you've got like burrowing insect larva that oh. just fucking scoots through your body and you, you don't know it's it's fucking inside of you. Yeah. You didn't know. You didn't, r r you didn't correlate three months earlier like, what the fuck do I have all these things growing inside of me in your skin? And then like you don't think about that beetle that you handled to freak your son out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a there's a show on like Animal Planet or some shit a few years ago. It, it was everything to do with that, just like parasites inside people, and just what they did, yeah. like their whole story and how they got rid of it and shit. They didn't die, but they had a miserable life. That's for sure. Yeah, parasites are not they're not cool. I don't care who you are, what you think about them. If you're pro parasite, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> they used to sell pills with tapeworm inside of them. Yeah, it's Back for. They like, here lose weight. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah that's right. Because they eat all your food. Yeah. That's fucking disgusting. Mm -hmm. um, they supposedly there's like some stuff for like uh, Crohn's disease. Like you have to go to India or some shit to get it. But they're they're uh, insect larvae also Fuck. that like eat the inside of your um, intestinal wall. Nice to get rid of sounds, like the Crohn's. Sounds fun. Some of the stuff, <laughs> and then you which is supposed disgusting. You're supposed to harvest them out of your shit. And then re-digest them. Mm. We just lost every fucking listener. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I've got some fun facts about fucking uh, parasites. Mm. This is from a 
a vice.com article. I don't know if anybody likes them or whatnot. I hear different things, but it's from vice.com on December 19, 2018, entitled Millions of Americans Have a Parasite and Don't Realize It. Oh, yeah. I thought about like, well, what like if I had eggs laid in laid in me because I handled that bug today, I would like looked it up. I was like, oh, there's a bunch of articles about (laughs) fucking people that have bugs inside of them. So... On this Evil Vibes edition of the Vile Professional Podcast, your skin is crawling. And so, in this article, it says Americans don't uh, often like to joke about the threat of Montezuma's Revenge, otherwise known as Traveler's Diarrhea. Mm. It's a good word. (laughs) Montezuma's Revenge. Uh, When they visit developing countries, but a significant number of people in the U.S. actually already have parasites living inside of them right now. So, you don't even have to go anywhere. You don't have to drink the Mexican water. Don't worry about the, you know, the walls there. We don't have to worry about Max Matsuzuma's <laughs> revenge coming. But um, you, you've got parasites already. What kind do you have? Oh, man. Did, oh, that makes me think about uh, this this story I heard about, uh, like, there's these tiny little spiders that only live on your eyelashes. What? It's supposed to be a real thing. I swear to God. Just your eyelashes. They, they only live on people's eyelashes. I think it's little tiny, you, tiny spiders. I can't see any spiders. I'm looking right you at them. You can't see them, damn it. <laughs> little spiders. Little tiny spiders. Uh, pinworms, giardia, head lice, and cytospor- cyclospora hardly ever kill people in industrialized countries. Uh, you'd be correct, too, in thinking that most parasites, like intestinal worms, are more of a, de- of a developing country problem than a developed country problem. But here are five in the United States that you probably haven't heard of, which the Center for Disease Control calls the neglected parasitic infections. I'm going to butcher these because they're fucking weird. (laughs) Uh, Chagas disease. Chagas disease. Um, Chagas? Chagas. C-H-A-G-A-S disease. Uh, Cystocerosis Toxosoriasis, toxoplasmosis, that's my favorite. Mind control. Yep. Uh, just by listening to this podcast, you automatically gain a free dose of toxoplasmosis and you will listen forever, even after the, we stop doing this, uh, due to the toxoplasmosis. Uh, and trichomoniasis. I don't know if I said any of those right. Sorry if I did. Sounds right. Uh, they aren't household names. They're much more serious than an itch, and according to the CDC, there are more than 100 million cases of these five five in Americans right now. Fuck! 100 <laughs> million of us have this. Fun. So, what's that real, What's that correlate to? One and whatever. Well, how, is it Americans or worldwide? Americans. Oh, fuck. Not worldwide. That's way more in like <laughs> So, it's like, it's like a third of us. Isn't there only like 300 million here, or yeah. is there more? Look it up. How many? 370, 376 million, I think. So one in third, one in three. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob's got it. He's not here. He's got We're it. good. There's no way I've got <laughs> virus right now. Or, uh, well, just a quick update. Those Demodex mites, they're basically tiner, tiny spiders that have an unusual slug-like appearance. Ugh. And they have a lifespan of 14 to 20 days and they live on everybody's eyelashes no matter how well you keep them groomed or clean. What if I tore mine out last night? <laughs> I won't have any ashes. I'm going to tear them out yeah. tonight. So. I won't have any eyelashes after this episode. <clears throat> uh, with the perennial story of someone pooping out a five-foot-long tapeworm appearing uh, in your feed, you may wonder how 100 million people could not have known they've become human hotels to creatures wiggling through their bodies. This is disgusting. Can you imagine dude. just take you're sitting on the toilet and you just feel something slapping on your cheeks and <laughs> it's, it's a worm. Yeah. Are you gonna do food? <laughs> Pull it. Oh, that's, that's how you gotta do it. <laughs> yeah. Pull them out. And if oh. you have one, you probably got a fucking ton more. <laughs> um One reason is that monster parasites like those five footers are outliers. Most are sneaky and very small. Some of these uh this is a quote from Bobby. I don't know who that is, but they're in the article. Uh, Some of these parasites have evolved along with us for millennia, which means you've always had them, uh, says Bobby Pert, director of the Mayo Clinic's clinical uh, parasitologist laboratory. They don't cause system. Uh, they don't cause uh, symptoms, or they cause very minimal symptoms. So they're not likely to come to medical attention until it's too late. Happy Halloween! I told everybody we're going to do some fucking weird shit. (laughs) Um, I do want to do an episode uh, on 
we kind of like um kind of like the uh, torture device thing yeah about different kinds of spirits and ghosts and shit oh, so yeah. the one you were talking about earlier uh, earlier episode, maybe the last one. Yeah, it was the Tatuamono. Tatuamonia. But, but then it's, I, I looked it up later on and it's actually the Duendes. It's the little ghost things, but the Tatuamono is still a spirit, but the Duendes was the ones that take the little kids. Stuffed animals. Yep. I was listening to the episode today for some reason. I was just like, look, <laughs> I, I, like I, I turn on my my Bluetooth sometimes. Yeah. Um, Does it automatically connect? It automatically plays whatever's <laughs> up. So, what's funny is like there's been times I've gone on trips or whatever and mm-hmm. I have like people in the car like- <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it displays what you're watching last. And so, if I literally was like on porn last and it, on whatever <laughs> website says, I was Bling. like, I brought this dude to the car and we're like driving and it took like 10 seconds. I was like Bluetooth because I was going to listen to a podcast. And as I was going to it, it was like- <laughs> like, fucking, that's how chicks moan. They're like, meh, meh. That's <laughs> goat porn. But it said on the thing, ah! it's like, it's like whoever uh, gets fucked in the butt. Like, that was the porn. Look that up. Whoever gets fucked in the butt. Um, Good porn. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a great porn, actually. Did the trick. Uh, Toxopsoriasis, coriasis, is one, is one such parasite that you can catch in the United States. It's a roundworm that lives in the intestines of dogs and cats, and Ooh. it thrives when owners don't get their pets dewormed on a regular basis. Um, so, get your dogs to the vet. Um, now. I've got to do that with Zia. Pause this episode. <laughs> yeah, i got to stop licking her butthole. <laughs> I think that's how you get it. It's, it's the only way. In case you want it, that's how you get it. <clears throat> I don't have it. <laughs> I think. Seriously, guys, <laughs> I don't have toxosoriasis. Uh, to put it bluntly, the parasite <laughs> is how I go into the <laughs> stupid. Uh, to put it bluntly. To put it bluntly, the parasite doesn't really know what to do in our body, she says. This is where it gets interesting. Uh, it knows it's not a, inside a dog or a cat where it'd rather be, so it spends its life on a continual larval phase, roaming through the body, boring holes in any organ it runs into, including eyeballs and brain matter, as it looks for a place to settle down. I mean, it's looking for a cat ass. Yeah. If you could just usher those things towards your butthole, and then go ass to ass to your dog and be like, get out of here and like fart the- Maybe it'll just follow the path. That's crazy. It goes into your fucking eye. But wait, there's more. Uh, once it cuts tunnels through your eyeballs, the damage is irreparable and you can lose your vision. Pritt says if it goes into the brain, it can be fatal. 46 million people, 14% of the U.S. have toxo... Fuck, 14%. You're all a bunch of dirty fucks. Quick, who else do we know? <laughs> toxo coriasis. Well, why is it... Doesn't that kill more people than guns? Of course. I mean, it doesn't say that it kills them. It says 14% of the fucking dirt... You dirty fucking shit... Sniffing fucking <laughs> bitches. Clean up after your animals. All have this. 14% of you. That's a fucking lot. The CDC says its true numbers are higher because people rarely connect eventual blindness with roundworms slithering Fuck. undetected through the body. So, if you think you're going blind. <laughs> I got bad vision, man. Ooh. Maybe I got fucking dog butt worms. <laughs> Talk so much shit about toxoplasmosis and people with fucking, you know, cats and shit. It's disgusting. You're all fucking disgusting. <laughs> um, with that, what do you got on it? You got anything to contribute? Well, you got hopefully, any? Uh, hopefully, I don't have any parasites. Do you have any parasites? You want to put out not. on the table? I have no parasites. I've been bitten by <laughs> bugs. I, I need you to check something out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my butthole. Look at my butthole. Is it swollen? <laughs> Are the worms hanging out? <laughs> Feels itchy, dude. You stick your finger there. <laughs> Just plug it up, dude, dude. I got a bug. Can you pull it out? But just yank it. Anyway, if that would be fucked up if I just did that to myself oh, today man. by picking up like, <laughs> like look, putting that bug just on my head. Just some worms that will live in your stomach now. Yeah. Fun. I used to, when I was a kid, um, I used to be like weird about germs and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm giving a little bit of information about my childhood now. Uh, but I used to be weird about germs. And it was such a fucking unreasonable thing, like an unreasonable fear that I had. Um, that, that like wash my hands and shit, yeah. and then eventually one day I grew out of that. Like I eventually like fuck it. I don't need it. to like, wash my was hands one after di- I piss anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and now I just fucking like do whatever. I <laughs> barely care about my own health. I'm disgusted. 
So I'm probably one of the 14. Well, when I was a kid, uh, both Dan and I, when we lived in California, you know, uh, we used to go out to the canyons and we'd catch, the, there was like a, every, I don't know if it was fall or what, every, we'll say it's fall. Every fall we'd go out to this one area that's on top of the canyons. We'd crawl through this restricted area fence. Uh, I was just about to ask you, where did, where was that? <laughs> it was in Murphy Canyon in San Diego, oh, yeah. right? So, uh, we'd be on the top of this canyon behind military housing and we're walking through there and there's just thousands of these little toads and we'd just collect them, right? We'd take like 20 of them home, put them in this fish tank we had in the backyard and just like feed them, make a little terrarium because we were, you know, what the fuck else are you going to do with frogs, right? So, we would catch them all the time during this season and every time we went out there, we'd find one or more with like six legs. Jesus. Like three back lit, you know what I mean? Just oddities, right? Yeah. But it was more common than you think. Yeah. So, we'd find them like every time we went out. Why does this one have two faces, you know? Like, yeah, holy like fuck. Fucking nuclear frogs, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's why you got two penises. Later on, I'm like, man, penises. <laughs> I have two penises. Penises. So, later on, I, you know, I think about it, I'm like, okay, restricted area, maybe there was like some toxic shit out Could there. Could be. <laughs> or maybe these things... Had some kind of weird parasite. I don't know. I have no fucking idea. I think there's a lawsuit going on about that. Right <laughs> but yeah, we that, that's the closest I got to some weird shit. Everybody like cares about fucking global warming. Yeah. Well, certain people it's do. Fucking six legged frogs are going to invade. Yeah. You got to worry about the frogs, man. We got two faces. <laughs> it, I mean, some people are just two faced yeah. metaphorically. Bad These frogs were literally two faced. Yeah. Two faced. It sucks for them. Yeah. But it's not. It doesn't suck. You got two penises, <laughs> just chicks by handling it. the toads. Chicks do get. They sure do. I don't know. Uh, ladies, do you dig a dude <laughs> with two penises? Um, yeah, you, you get the double penetration. I guess, I guess it, with, it depends just on your significant. I guess other. it depends on where the other one is. <laughs> it's coming out of your asshole. <laughs> It's hard to take a shit just right off your nose or something. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nipple dicks. <laughs> Nipple dicks. Um, so with that, parasites this is a great way to start the episode. I love it. Um, and uh, with that, the uh, we did. Where's my fucking phone? Do you, you mind grabbing that? Got it. Because I'm being lazy. Um, did a uh, did a little poll on our Patreon, and I can't quite remember why I'm bringing this up right now. Um, but as I log into it. Um, I asked everybody, I said, please let us know what sort of focus you'd like to see, uh, you focus you like about the podcast. Your answers here will influence the, uh, the future of the podcast. We, we drift towards 2020 and then I thanked them because I'm a Did nice they guy. say buttholes? Is that why you're focusing on No, I didn't on give right them now? an option because I did that today with Instagram and yeah. it's just the fucking shit show. Yeah. It's all the shit that I can't stand. It's like- Tell us about your service. Yes, it's yeah, <laughs> all that. It's like, what do you think about this? I'm like, I don't fucking think anything of it. <laughs> Um, so, um, one of these days I do have to talk about why, and maybe this is it. Um, but no, I'm not going to, let's just skip, let's <laughs> nope, skip. This I, yeah. Um, just my aversion towards talking about it. I think it has to do with every, uh, I've seen it so much where everybody just continuously talks about it. Yeah. That's got, yeah. that's be it. Repeats, and then poor leadership and, and stuff and, like yeah, that. It's absolutely. the same fucking thing and it doesn't matter anymore. Like eventually you've been me through the whole cycle of me. Getting out of the service and then going. I mean, you weren't. We haven't been hanging out that long, but you, you saw my tra- the way I've changed over the yeah, year. And right after, yeah. I don't. I just don't talk about. It. Um. So the the number one uh, voted thing is that people want us to focus on more as animals. Um, it's probably the toxoplasmosis in. Oh yeah. The the image the artwork, aliens is the top one. Uh, people want to hear Florida Man, more of those so weird things. I, I think like that one. It, it was funny, but it's over, like a lot of people do it. So, yeah. Um, creation of create uh, cult, the cult. So, we're already doing that. Um, but that's with a specific crew. And then people like the history of the torture devices. Nice. Um, n- people didn't vote for old timey words. I don't <laughs> think that was a winner. And then funny news stories. Space. Uh, people want to hear about thoughts on space or whatever i think that was the space aliens mm-hmm. oh, i already put that i put those two things and then uh psychedelics for that one thing but i don't have any experience with that other than weed so uh yeah 
But uh, if you the voting is still open, so if you want to go to Patreon forward slash Violent Professional, you can go and vote. And I mean, you can also comment with what you'd like to see us talk about, and then and uh, sign up and donate. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, donate. Um, so with that, thanks for all the patrons signing up. Uh, and uh, appreciate it helps the podcast grow. Uh, so go to patreon.com forward slash violent professional uh, and sign up if you want or don't, you know, or, or do or do. Um, also with that, ariesclothing.com, evil, evil vibes co.com and go to www.strikeforceenergy.com. Use code evil vibes for 20 uh, for 20 percent off plus free shipping over thirty five dollars. And that's that's it. That's what I'm drinking right meow. Um, so today what we're going to get into is the movie review uh, we talked about it last time of the movie Mandy. So spoiler spoiler warning, I know you're deep into this episode, uh, exactly 20 some odd minutes into this episode. But if you don't want to know what Violent Professional is, <laughs> I, I looked at a thing of my bed. <laughs> Dude, I looked at I looked at something on this fucking I looked at the Patreon thing on this paper and it's like what is my paper plasmosis? Fucking idiot. <laughs> Such a dummy. Uh ADD, bro. I'm like, Duh. okay, so if you don't want to know what fucking Mandy is. Uh, turn this shit off and then go watch it and come back or you can just hear a certain section of it because we're not going to really get into like the specifics about everything there's too much to cover in it yeah, there, there really is weird. and we talked a little bit before and there's some weird stuff about like their house and stuff that yeah. was just like something that we both noticed that was just like what the fuck I wonder if other people notice this so uh, Mandy is I'll, like from my perspective because you can read the actually I'll fucking Pull, can you Synopsis. pull up the the thing and then read it? But it's a, essentially like a psychological. Um, I don't know. Is it, it's probably labeled a psychological horror film. I, I would say psychological thr- thriller. Yeah, yeah. Because there are some horror aspects to it, like bloody, gory, mm-hmm. fucking trippy shit. But I think a because there's space and shit involved. I think there's some weird fucking. Well, when he there, when he hits the shit and just goes. Boom, Oh, yeah. ass off. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Because it, it's just weird, but let's <clears throat> pee out that up. All right. Mandy is a 2018 film directed by Panos Cosmatos. Holy fuck. And co written by Aaron Stewart on. Uh, it's a co production of the United. A co production of the United States and Canada. The film stars are Nicolas Cage. Fuck yeah. Andrea Riseborough. Linus Roach, Ned Denny. Anyways, there's a bunch of weird fucking people you've never heard of in here. Uh, it's it, probably Canadian. It premiered in 2018 Sundance Film Festival on January 19th. Uh, theatrically re- released on September 14th in 2018. Uh, Mandy received critical acclaim with praise directed at its style and orig- originality. Cage's performance, uh, the direction of it, and the action sequences, which... <laughs> Won awards for that, or <clears throat> let's see. Plot uh, it takes place somewhere in the Shadow Mountains in the year 1983. Where's the Shadow Mountains? Uh, let's find out. Probably I'll northern. Look that up. Uh, Shadow Mountains are located in the Mojave Desert of Eastern California. That's interesting because it's supposed to be the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Oh, what a twist! Yeah, it's a very. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist. It's a little geographically yeah. bullshit. So they live in a it's it's this dude named Red and uh his girlfriend and artist named Mandy Bloom live in a Who's cabin. She's a weird looking chick. Oh, super. She way. got that weird scar on her eye. Yeah, I thought it was like I thought that I thought to, that there was something that had to do with yeah. the story, but no, not it's, not like, it's like an upside side down cross. Yeah. Looks yeah, like. yeah, yeah. So I was like, maybe this is something like that. So they live in a cabin near a lake, and Red Red's a logger. Mandy has a day job as a cashier at a gas station in the woods. Don't ask why there's a gas station in the fucking woods, but there is one. And, it, remind, uh, it reminds me of like deep fucking woods, Alabama. Yep, yep. Or fucking West Virginia in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, there you go. Because you don't really see like the way the people act, like the how mm-hmm. fucking backwoods they are. You don't really weird. see that up here. So she creates fantasy art. So, Red likes her work a lot. Um, he always comments on it and shit. Um, 
So one day, Mandy's walking and walking to work and this van comes by and it's carrying this fucking hippie cult called the, the Children of the New Dawn. And there's a dude named Jeremiah who's the leader. So, Jeremiah later on um, is thinking about this chick, Mandy, and he's just like tells his cult well, he, people. He, he, they're driving through the woods and see her. Yeah, because they see her. Home. He just sees her through the window just briefly. So, later on, they're they're at their little cult place and he's like, I want you to bring me that chick that I saw earlier. So, that old <laughs> bitch is sitting there ready to suck <laughs> his dick. Yeah. So, he's, he's, like, he's got a bunch of followers. Nothing he's Jeremiah. Do. Jeremiah is obviously the leader and, and he's got men and women that, you know, follow him and he obviously gets the women to please him and super weird. It, it's almost like he gets the men to please him too. <laughs> yeah, he's that asked fucking to. weird. So, this movie takes a weird fucking turn when he, he in order to get the, the chick, he doesn't just send his minions out to go get them. He gives his like main follower this weird fucking flute thing. <laughs> It's a stone or it's a, it's something weird. So he says a Kong show. He, he doesn't even say. He just he just gives it to the guy, and the guy he says, "You know what to do." <laughs> so. There's a lot of backstory to this that I'm sure that there's oh, there has there's to a, be, dude, because there's there's a lot of like you get the gist of the movie, yeah. like what's yeah, when happening. you're watching it, yeah, and like even the the whistle fucking thing, the flute, yeah, you know, like. It's not like there. It's like what the fuck is even happening? You understand, but you're yeah. like, oh, there's a whole fucking other thing about this. I'm sure there's a book there because I haven't looked that it up. Has to be. There's like a whole Graphic fucking mythology novel, and shit to a it. Porn, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure there is. The uh, uncut director's copy. Oh man. So yeah. So one of the followers takes this um, uh, this flute thing, and he's standing out in the, like in the woods at night, and he uses this flute thing, and it. It summons. It doesn't even summon. It calls to these this uh cannibalistic biker gang. That With, just this one dude has. They're wearing like dominatrix dip. fucking masks yeah. and spikes, and they speak. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they have. They they don't have like regular voices. It sounds like they got a deep voice synthesizer and, like, yeah, and if, so alien voice. I think I'm gonna fast forward when <clears throat> the reason they're all fucking weird is because they got a a fucked up batch of of LSD made up and then it fucked their fucked them all up yep um who made that for him i forget that part there's i don't know just, i think it was revenge had, or something like that well the children of the dawn brought him like brought the main guy the main biker dude yeah. like a cup of it and he says more i want more and then he says i want blood so they offer up their their like fat cult leader to the <laughs> yeah that or not got cult leader but cult member to to the biker gang to yeah consume. so so then the they go and bring every they give him that fat dude he's like <laughs> so out of place he's like yeah yeah hey guys like whatever he's saying standing in the back <laughs> bring the pudgy pudgy one um he uh they they all go to the house which red's house yeah red's house <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Ooh, their interaction with each other is super weird. Like, very. They're very slow. So, baby. Like, <laughs> it's all slow. It's uh, the red highlights and really shit like whis that. Whispery and LSD music. I th if we can agree on this, the the weirdest thing about the whole movie, because there's a lot more weird shit we'll talk about, but yeah. the weirdest thing about the movie is their fucking house. It's all made of glass <laughs> and the windows are all open and- Myself and Mark agreed on this. If I was living in the fucking woods, I couldn't sleep or like do anything at nighttime if the fucking whole house was lit up in glass. You so, see all those so celebrities. You've, with seen, you've seen these Instagram posts with like the bed and it's like in a glass bubble and it's in the middle of the woods. Yeah. People are like, would you sleep here? And everybody's like, fuck yeah, it would. Oh, no, yeah. the fuck you wouldn't because you don't want some creepy thing. Looking at you what? while you're trying to fucking sleep. Any any fucking source <laughs> of light in your house, like you're oh, watching yeah. TV or whatever. Fucking terrible. If you looked out into the fucking woods, you would see a million fucking animals staring at you. Yep, absolutely. You would event like if that place was built and you have a trash outside, you would eventually have all kinds of raccoons and fucking and then fucking wolves and then all kinds of things staring at you. So if you catch those eyes just right, they're yep. looking at you Blowing like and shit. Fuck this house. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. We paid twenty million for it. <laughs> So made the, it out of the fucking worst part is it, it, it was it was like their bedroom was 
pushed out of the room, like their bed area yeah. where they sleep was pushed out away from the rest of the room and it was just surrounded by these glass fucking windows. Yeah. Just, oh yeah, fuck that. It's, there's, I mean, there's a certain person that I'm sure listening is like, what's wrong with that? That sounds cool. <laughs> I totally sleep I there. just, uh, yeah. I'm not really the type that likes to go out to the woods and camp by myself with, uh, you know, that's I mean, I do that. Fucking I do that, but I'm in a fucking tent. If I can't see it, then I'm like, ah, eh, you know, if I you die, could, you right. could still have, yeah, but, but the, if I, if I, dildo, uh, I, I'd be able to sleep though, you know, until they rape your mouth because <laughs> they know there's a tent right there in the middle of the woods. <laughs> the animals? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, or, or the, them dressed as animals. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, so what happens next? <clears throat> so they end up drugging the chick with some LSD and then. Stung her in the neck with this giant fucking wasp. Whatever the fuck that was. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that was. It looked was. like a wasp. It had wings. What was, was the black. point of that? I don't know. There's it's another wasp. <laughs> that's one of the things I don't understand. There's more to but that. But damn it, they had a huge fucking wasp in a jar and they stung her in the yeah, neck. Yeah, it, it was in some like embalming fluid or yeah. something like that. That thing, my skin's, I hate fucking that kind of <laughs> shit. My skin's crawling, dude. Like, I don't get weird about bugs, you know, because mm-hmm. I was just fucking, I, I basically implanted parasites into my body today. <laughs> So, I'll pick them up and shit. Uh, unless it's like a centipede because you can get fucking poisoned by those fucking mm-hmm. things or whatever. Uh, but like fucking – if I know there's like a fucking bug or something, just talking about it right now is making my hair stand up. <laughs> but I'll go up – like if I had a bug right there, if yeah. I just like looked over no, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I know there's a bug. My my skin will crawl and my fucking hair is sta- literally standing up on end. Uh, but like I'll go pick it up. It's not what it's about, but that fucking scene, like I'm talking oh, about, it, that oh, big ass fucking right nasty juicy bug. <clears throat> yep. Ugh, like, what the fuck was the point of that? I don't know. Is it to keep a, keep them under mind control, like makes you trip harder with the LSD, or makes you just maybe it's, lethargic. I there's got to be a whole backstory to that because it makes no fucking sense. Yeah. So they, so basically, they make her trip balls with some fucking LSD dripped in her eye and some fucking yeah. wasp poison or whatever the fuck it was. So then she's um, put in this room. <laughs> And brought into this room where Jeremiah's laying down and starts talking to her, telling telling her she's the chosen one. He's going to be part of her. You are a special one, she's super special. Let's and I'm be special together. Let's be special together. <laughs> so the dude stands up and um, starts opens his fucking robe and starts just jerking his dick right in front of her. <laughs> I don't her. think he did. he didn't jerk off. He was jerking. He he was whenever he showed his face. No, he was like. He was like <laughs> no, he wasn't. Yes, he was. No way. I don't Fuck, remember that. I, I swear I to God, remember that. you're gonna That's have to weird. rewatch it now. I'm Just not that watching scene. that. <laughs> you have to watch. I'm not watching it. Fast again. forward it to that scene. I'm not watching. And watch it. him drink up. I could just look at the GIF. <laughs> I'm gonna send you that GIF. Hopefully, <laughs> if there's not one. I'm making it. Oh man. So um, there is dicks. <laughs> it's like he movie. has Barry penis syndrome though, because his <laughs> dick is tiny. So uh, if you've ever seen a tiny penis, like you can imagine. <laughs> The, his, his wiener looks small. The the funny part about it is that Mandy starts laughing. Yeah, all tripped laughs, out. Laughs super fucking <laughs> tripping balls, LSD laugh. And he says, stop laughing at me. And he looks at the other people in the room. He stop looking at me. Yeah. He starts tripping balls. Then he decides to kill her. So, uh, he lights her on fire and stabs Red in the side with this big ass knife. It's a special knife, by the way. It's like a fucking demonic blade. Yeah. The, from that the, from fucking the, little mullet wearing weirdo from the abyssal it. the blade of the abyssal pain, plane or some shit. <laughs> there's a whole. I want to. I want to research the rest of it because there's. Imagine if it was just Super like they weird. made this movie and there's no other backstory to it. Yeah, like there's nothing else and it's just like it's just a bunch of random what fucking the fu- ideas. Yeah, because if that would be what it is, it's a bunch of random shit. Yeah, but I'm just based on the shit that I've seen. There's got to be another story, and then there's true fucking, I fucking cult hope following. So. This is this is a cult. Plot, like this is a cult uh, following yeah, type movie, yeah. But there's got to be other shit. Has I just haven't be. looked it up. Yeah. So after after um, he gets stabbed and they light his his girlfriend on fire in um, a really fucked up way, she's yeah. alive. He's watching. Yeah, she's burning alive. He's he's trapped watching. He's got barbed wire wrapped right around his hands and his face. And uh, excuse me. Um, he. Somehow escapes by slipping his hands out because the rest of the people leave. The next day. Yeah, it's like the next day. And he goes in the bathroom and starts drinking and pouring the shit all over him, like the the, the alcohol over his wounds. Starts tripping out, yelling, screaming, upset. I mean, he's massively bloody yeah. all over. Yep. 
But his whitey tighties are pristine. Yeah, yeah, it keeps like, him clean. Yeah. No, no skid marks. No, there's nothing. nothing. No, didn't shit his a, pants, guys. He's wearing a t-shirt, and it's, those things are clean, man. His no blood, t-shirt nothing. had a big fucking tiger face on it. <laughs> yeah, ah, he's all. We should gnarly. get those shirts and wear. Those are sweet. Those are fucking dope. <laughs> wear them with our whitey tighties. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can't so, see across the table, but that's what I'm wearing under this flannel <laughs> shirt. Uh so he he goes uh red leaves and he goes to uh this black dude's trailer. I don't know where the fuck, who the fuck like, this guy is, but goddamn it, he opens that door. He's that creepy lazy says, eyed fucking I'm here for the Reaper. And the guy's like, I knew you'd be coming. <laughs> Which is weird also. I thought about this because the Reaper is just a fucking crossbow. Yes. And I don't understand why. Maybe maybe he used to be some special kind of monster hunter. That's, I don't fucking know. Uh, and all this shit, I'm like, why is that like that? Because there's probably a fucking backstory it to it. It has to be. I'm going to look at this after. I'm not doing it right now. So, so Red starts explaining to this black guy who's nameless. And he's, he's like, yeah, talking about these – there's these black uh, biker things that were just shadow people and – and somehow this fucking guy knows exactly what he's talking about. He's like, "Oh yeah, they're yeah, spotted." Yeah, he's like, "I don't know anything truckers. about him." But then it tells a whole fucking story about him. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like we're bashing the film, but it's not like it's not a bad. We're just like, confused. It's just weird. <laughs> so he tells him, he tells Red that you know they were spotted close around, but he didn't say where. So motherfucker knew he was motherfucker holding out. Knew. Yeah, had he be. was probably the dildo dildo baggins, the guy that was like <laughs> had dildos all over him. Had to be. So he um, he gives him the crossbow, and then he said, "You're gonna you're gonna need this. You're gonna need this also." What the fuck did he? he it gave was him? the arrows. The arrows. Yeah, the arrows that the went special, with the fucking like crossbow. Special. What arrows. was that guy gonna do with the fucking? <laughs> What if, was he going to do? If you're hunting, you're going to need these two. I got to uh, make a comment though. His trailer looked straight up shit yeah, on the outside, but the inside was kind of nice. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I mean, that's like the uh, Craigslist at like pictures when you're like, oh, let me look, check out this trailer. You're like, yeah, that's a nice trailer. And you show up and it's a fucking box of shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. So, don't judge a book by its cover. The is next part say. is what fucking threw me for a loop. When he fucking... <laughs> he sh- <laughs> when he showed up to that radio tower, was that after he w- went to the bikers? So the, what radio tower? Fucking radio tower that had like a bunker underneath it and he goes inside and there's a dude standing there cleaning like a computer board or some shit and then he lets his fucking tiger out. He has got like a caged tiger. No, that was- that's Is deeper. that after? That's before the chainsaw fight. Okay, okay. It's so, like right before. So, um, That is a weird that, fucking I don't part. fucking understand that part There's at all. more to it. <laughs> Maybe it's just as simple as that. It's just a fucked up film. Jeez, but <laughs> while you're watching it, you're like, this all makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so re- rewind a little bit before yeah. the tigers. Uh, he ends up finding the bikers and kills them all. So, he like you're, shoots them with crossbows and then- You're, you're missing a couple of things. What am things. I missing? So he goes. I don't. He gets captured. Oh, he forges a blade. Yeah, yeah. That fucking epic. Fucking, epic. Uh, he made like an, a you're fucking gonna giant. You're gonna need a montage. Montage. Like literally forging a battle axe. Yeah, dude. Some weird fucking <laughs> thing. Like, how does he know how to do that? He was. He was just a foreman on a construction he's, site, or like maybe a, he's a, a logger. secret blacksmith. Dope, dope scene. All the colors and shit. He's like, he's like, got this. Why did he make that? I don't know. It's a terrible weapon to wield. It's but he probably heavy as fuck. It's made out of fucking straight iron. Yeah, that he smelted. I don't know where he picked up that skill. Maybe it's YouTube. You where can learn fuck, anything on the magic of YouTube. Where was he to forge it? Who he, like fu- had a special forge? And why the fuck did he go for that fucking crossbow? <laughs> yeah, if he has his fucking battle axe. It's like somebody gives you an Xbox. They're like, you can have the Xbox. You're going to need this controller. <laughs> Can I have it? it depends. <laughs> but they go together, you fucking dick. Um, but then he goes into the montage and makes that fucking sick ass fucking battle axe. Yeah. Uh, I'm not talking about a guitar. I'm talking about this fucking weird. He's wielding a fucking weird, huge axe. Super shiny blade that obviously. With, with parts on it that don't make sense. That, <laughs> Has like extra handles. Uh, has I mean, it would kill people. It's like, curved you all weird. Lob, yeah, <laughs> super weird. Like I don't understand that part. <laughs> not at all. Which leads me to believe there's more to the story <laughs> that, we're, that we're not privy to. When's the last time you heard privy? I just said it just two <laughs> seconds ago. Um, but yeah, so he makes that weird blade and then fucking like goes and finds them somehow. Yeah, somehow just ends up in oh, the woods. You know, and he sees you know what by. happens. 
that fucking he he gets in the woods and goes after he gets the crossbow because mm-hmm. I'm missing a part. I think like he forged the blade first mm-hmm. and then went and got the crossbow. Yep. Then he got the location from that dude, and then he went there and saw them driving around motorcycles. Mm-hmm. Shot Dildo Baggins' motorcycle out from or no, he shot him right. Yeah, shot him. And then the dude gets up and he charges after him and fucking what happens? He hits him with a car. Yeah, he runs like runs, runs him over him, the car, but yeah. ends up flipping the car, which is weird. Also, yeah, just by hitting the person, just yeah. like flips the fucking car. So kills that dude and then gets captured. I think. Yep. Winds brought up, back to the the bunker. The bunker. No, brought back to. It's. It was a really a bunker. Yeah, it was kind of a bunker. It was like a trailer with a bunker underneath or some sh- weird shit. It with some drop ghetto. down yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um. The dude wakes up. Uh, Red wakes up. Yep. And the dude comes over to fucking, and he pretends to cry, mm-hmm. right? And then he just kicks the fucking, he uses his fucking karate legs and fucking kicks, kicks him. Kicks the shit out of the Kicks dude. the fuck out of him. And then, then tosses the dude down a thing, right? Yeah, down a hole. All right. Straight down the hole. And that's when he gets up and he goes and he fights one of the big ones inside like the living room of the place. And <laughs> So, you're missing the part where he walks in the dude's asshole is all bloody and shit. The two, oh, that yeah, fucking one yeah, room, yeah. that's yep. crazy trailer. Yep. yep. Really yep. fucking crazy trailer. So, this is where we get into, you find out why the dude's asshole's bleeding. <laughs> I'll let you tell this part. Okay. So, he walks in and he's like, he's looking through, did he do the fucking drugs before or after? It's after. Okay. So, he walks in and there's this dude fucking just face down in a pile of fucking coke. Just, just, he's all bondaged up. He's this big, fat, hairy fuck. And I don't know, he, he has... He doesn't have a blade, right? He's just got that fucking big. Okay, so he's the dude's watching TV or something like that, and fucking porn on the TV. Yeah, (laughs) I forgot that it's like eighties, yeah, it's like eighties porn, porn. doggy style. Yeah, and the dude's just the. I got a comment on the dude that was fucking on the doing the porn. He's just fucking railing that shit. Yeah, and she's like, "Oh yeah, give it to me. (laughs) Oh, it's Canada. Oh, give it to me." And he's just like plugging away like it's a boomerang shot on Instagram. So like, um, and. So, the dude gets up and he fucking, they get into a fight or whatever and then Nicholas Cage, so you look at this big fat dude when he stands up and you find out why that guy had a bloody asshole because on his dick, he's got a giant fucking blade it's that's big about ass fucking two feet long. Bike blade. Yeah. And so, they get into a fight and he almost gets stabbed with it because yeah. the dude's trying to fuck him <laughs> with the thing. And then how does he get, how does he get him? He gets him in the throat, but I forget how he 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 stabs him with something. Yeah, so he he got something somehow. Blade maybe in the he scuffle. like flung his dick up and <laughs> I don't know stabbed him with it. I can't remember that part. So he gets something, and the dude's over top of him, like trying to jam him yep. with his fucking dick. And uh, Red slices. This is this was honestly like this section was my favorite part. Mm-hmm. Like uh, so he's over. He's like the dude's over top of him, and he takes it and slices his throat from ear to ear, and the blood just pouring down in Nicholas Cage's face, and he's just like, ah! yeah. <laughs> and he's like fucking drinking it, the blood. It and almost shit. looked like it was coming out of the bad guy's mouth. It was just like, Bruh. yeah, <laughs> like but, he's throwing up. So on he him. kills the fat dude and tosses him over. <laughs> yep, and then goes into the kitchen. Into the, the kitchen with the. It's like a hoarder's yeah, fucking, it's fucking nasty looking. There's kitchen. just flies and shit everywhere. Like I don't know why they had pizza boxes, but maybe I, it, it, it was kind of funny because he was like opening cupboards and he opened one cupboard. Oh, there's my crossbow. There's the reaper. <laughs> oh, here's some, oh, there's my arrows. Yeah, <laughs> just opening cupboards and then. He f- he looks at the counter and you w- there's yeah, so much some, shit on move it. some fucking paper there's around so, pulls so up much a jar. shit on there you wouldn't <laughs> you wouldn't even think this is anything distinct from anything else yeah, but it's a jar full of this fucking crazy LSD that is probably the stuff they talked about earlier that fucked up the, all their brains yep so Nicolas Cage decides like this is the co- funny thing it's like in movies people are always like is that cocaine and then they fucking rub it on their gums yeah, and shit yeah. I would n- like no not at all. I freaked out about a, par- oh, a oh, parasite <laughs> that I laid in my body today with picking up that bug. I was like, I should wash my hands. Oh, there's a little bit of my OCD coming well, this, out of here. This wasn't cocaine. This is arsenic. <laughs> yeah. So, that's the stupid part about movies that I wish they would fucking stop putting in fucking like popular culture stuff. Because yeah. people don't just go up to Not something and go, what's this? Like – I've seen it recently. I can't remember which movie, but it was like there was blood on the ground and the dude wiped it up and put it in his mouth. He's like, 
Oh, and yes, he figured out blood. it was blood. Like, who the fuck does that? I don't and go and put. Spit or- <laughs> yeah, I don't go and put random substances in my fucking mouth. Like, that's so dumb. But anyway, so like Nicolas Cage or Red, he like picks up this jar that looks like a fucking. It looks it's like, like gray, and like just fucking expired gross. semen. Like, there's <laughs> if there's a, an expiration it's a good date. Analogy. <laughs> it, like, it looks like expired semen. I'm not even joking. Like, I don't know how long that shit lasts, but I feel like it turns into powder and flakes away so, after something. a while. Like, it's not that I know that personally. Like, my t-shirts maybe had it on it sometime and I forgot to wash them. And it was under my bed. Expired this isn't an exact story about what happened last week. But, yeah, like, he picks up this jar of expired semen and fucking dips a finger and goes, boop, and then immediately travels to some other fucking realm for about fucking 10 spaceship seconds. spaceship blast off. Boop, and it's like, brrr, his face melts and shit. Yeah. Which is a cool, as cool as fuck scene. Yeah. Like, Interesting. The visuals and shit, and like it turns into a cartoon and shit. So, um, if you want to look that up on YouTube, that's probably, I mean, that's all you have to see out of the whole movie to know it's <laughs> fucking weird. Um, and then he, he gets his crossbow and he takes a trip and then fucking just buries his face in, a, in the pile of cocaine. No, and no, fucking, no. He did, he, did he do that first? He saw the glass. There was, he leans down and picks up a broken shard of glass, which happened to have a fucking mountain of cocaine on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And he just brings it up to his face and. Yeah. <laughs> Sniffs it up. Just all things that nobody would normally <laughs> no. fucking do. Even if your wife was murdered cocaine, in a fiery blaze. Cocaine off broken glass. You Man, were, he was tripping yeah. balls. <laughs> I call bullshit on this whole movie. That's the one scene that I'm like, this he doesn't it all it doesn't make sense. No, like, no, no. The rest of it makes absolute sense. Uh but big fucking knife dick. Yeah. <laughs> all of it's fucking weird. Uh so then uh gets into the fucking bloody cool shit. You can take that. Is, is that where he fucking goes out and? Or, I'm missing the part where he's at that fucking radio tower. Was that after he has the chainsaw he kills, fight? This is with the dude with the hanger and the tiger and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, that comes after. I think the chainsaw fight happens after that. Yeah. So and then so he leaves the he, place. There's a one of the other the second dude, the second bondage dude, yeah. not with all the dildos all over. Yeah, him. he's. He's by a fire, just yeah, standing, just standing by a car on fire. I think it was his car. Yeah. So they're like trying to burn the evidence, burn his yeah. car. But he ends up shooting that guy with an arrow from his crossbow, and it didn't do fucking anything, which I don't fucking understand. Yeah. Well, because they're all fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. But he just stood there and didn't move. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how did he end up killing that guy? I don't remember. He pushed him into the fire, I think. Shot him into the fire. The guy went into the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can't remember that part. This is a good movie review where like half the show <laughs> like, like oh, yeah, I don't fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> you know what happened. So we're not spoiling anything. This is stu- <laughs> no spoiler alerts. Uh, so after that, he ends up at this fucking radio tower that he had seen like while he was tripping LSD. So like when he when he took that you know rocket ship blast, it showed like a glimpse of this radio tower real quick. So he ends up going to this fucking bunker that's underneath the radio tower, and there's this weird fucking white dude. Just cleaning this like motherboard computer thing in some weird wash, and he looks he looks to his left and he's got a fucking tiger in a cage. I'm like, what the fuck is what a tiger does that guy doing say? There? He's a famous and as he fuck ha- dude. He has, also. A, he has a sweet fucking gun sitting next to him, like a revolver. It's all shiny and shit, but he doesn't go for it. He just lets it, lets it sit there, and he lets his fucking tiger out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tiger just runs off like, <laughs> like oh he's gonna eat Nicolas Cage yeah. because he's got blood all I'm over. Like him. oh cool, this tiger is gonna be part of the movie now, and you yeah. never see it again. It just disappears into the woods. <laughs> There's a tiger out there in some California Pacific Northwest yeah. town, and and You've he doesn't do any like what does he do to the guy? Backstory, man. It's probably all- <laughs> he just leaves. He doesn't. Backstory. do Yeah, he just fucking leaves. He walks out. Like there was no point I mean, in being there. It was just some random tower. Like yeah. you don't know if he's related. To this whole situation. There's nothing But that dude's been it. in a bunch of movies. He's a uh, pretty famous. I can't remember mm-hmm. his name. But we're not going to talk about it either. Who cares? Yeah, fuck it. Anyway. <laughs> so, then he goes into that chainsaw fight. Yes. Which, so, which you can talk about this part. Was the chainsaw fight after he took out the the dude? No. So, first he comes up to the to the car that had the, the bald dude and the chick in it. And the guy comes out and he ends up. That's right. He ends up. Um. Killing that guy by shoving his fucking the the back end of his um, huge battle axe like into the guy's mouth a couple of times. Keep shoving. Keep the only shoving. time he used the fucking thing at all. Yeah. Well, he used it one other time. Yeah. So he 
He shoves this thing into the dude's he mouth. He chopped that dude's fucking head off, right? Oh, he did a he couple cho- times. Yeah. He used it a few times, guys. We're liars. Um, so, after he kills that guy, he doesn't kill the chick that's with him. So, that was interesting. She stayed in the passenger side. Because she was just the fucking like, oh uh, cult God. leader's slam piece, and she yeah didn't, yeah she she the, was there the though she piece, probably should piece. she probably should have gotten fucking oh absolutely that was yeah. definitely a bullshit <laughs> move yeah fucking red god damn it so left the, a fucking witness yeah so the next guy he kills is a, is this creepy little dude that's like cleaning his car and the way he kills him is he's like twenty feet from him and does a throwing motion with his battle axe and then it just cuts scene to this battle axe. Going end over end. It's a mullet-headed <laughs> fucking yeah. asshole. Yeah, so it's it just shows the battle axe spinning like he threw it really hard, and it ends up just fucking <laughs> sticking to the guy's head. So, he threw it, you know, that's how he killed the the, the mullet dude that yeah. was cleaning his car. Um, then it comes to the, the chainsaws, the chainsaw fight. So, is it, get the, imagine this. Red comes around this corner, finds a chainsaw on the ground. He finds the biggest dude he's going to fight yet, and the dude is sitting down just waiting for him. Looks like so, a Russian mob <clears throat> dude. He's fucking all, wrestler, yeah. long hair dude. <laughs> <laughs> so he Red picks up a chainsaw and he's trying to start it. He just can't fucking get I was, to start. I did, the whole movie <laughs> didn't bother me, like all of it. Like yeah. it was there was some like when his wife was burning, that was like, oh fuck. Mm-hmm. Like I imagine how mad I would be yeah. or whatever, pissed off. I would rip my arms off to get out and fucking yeah. whatever. You're not gonna win that. You're gonna it's gonna happen regardless. Um but like when he could not start the chainsaw. Oh, fuck. And that dude was walking. I was like, ah! I was like fucking <laughs> cringing. It was the only time that got me. I was so fucking like, ah! I was like into the movie at yep. that point. Yep. Plus, I took some LSD in my fucking <laughs> eyeball and, it, and stung myself with a scorpion. I was like, this is fucking real, dude. <laughs> anyway. Then you laughed at a dick. Oh, yeah. And a <laughs> dick just popped out and I was laughing at it. It was my dick. I was anyway. just standing in front of the mirror the whole time. I wasn't even watching Stop a movie. Stop looking at me! Stop looking at me! Now the movie makes so, sense. So, yeah, I was like <clears throat> cringing, like legitimately oh, like, man. oh, fuck. And I was like, oh, it's a movie. What am I getting weird about? <laughs> He's not going to die. So, we're um, – I almost said – so, we're watching this movie. <laughs> yeah. So, this, so, what were we so, talking about? So, imagine a like a sword fight with chainsaws. That's what happened. That was it was pretty. Nicholas Cage epic. never got his chainsaw on. No, he didn't. Yeah, no, but no. he was using it. <laughs> he was he's a, he was using it to block himself. He's a horrible logger. I've he's got a terrible terrible logger. logger. If you can't if you he can't, can't start a chainsaw. A fuck, that's because he was executive, dude. He had to. be. He was exact. Had to be. He got to yeah. The he top. flew in a, at the beginning of the movie. He flew in a helicopter. Yep. He he just showed up and everybody's like that fucking. Why is <laughs> Nick Cage here telling us how to fucking chop down trees? The dude. Did you see that dude last week try to start a chainsaw? He couldn't fucking do it. His hands are baby soft. Oh, by the way. He's always the- there caressing his fucking <laughs> wife in their huge house with the fucking windows. We look at him at night and we yeah, see. Yeah, there you go. He's putting lotion on. We've been watching him for weeks. He's like on that movie, oh. uh, my, or that, sh- that book, Mice and Men, when he's got like the fucking gloves, he puts the lotion on the gloves to keep his hands smooth for his woman. That's what that's oh, what he was. Man. He didn't know how to start a chainsaw. Yeah, absolutely not. His hands were I probably mean, he slipping off. It. They were just slipping off of the He's <laughs> badass. He's badass, but he just couldn't start a chainsaw. No, not at all. And that's one thing yeah, that you're not for a Yeah, for some reason, this dude could fight like a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so, he ends up uh, in this chainsaw sword fight. Uh, fighting this biggest dude ever with the chainsaw that's like six feet long. <laughs> the dude, the dude is six feet long. The chainsaw, is six feet. the chainsaw. Is six he's feet got long. a big fucking chainsaw. Yeah, he and does. which okay, so he's fighting him, and then <laughs> he oh, fucking. Well, I'll just make a comment with fucking Nick Cage not having a fucking chainsaw uh, operating because he sucks as being a man in that that particular point of his life. He's like, what do I do? Turn this on? Do I have to fucking do I have to feed it with <laughs> do fuel? Do I have to suck its dick? Is it is it a, a one to one mix? I don't understand. What is, is it? my hands are dirty? <laughs> like, um, oh, it's so tough to turn on. I gotta put. He's asking the dude. He's like, do I gotta pull the trigger and then pull it and then do I have to <laughs> put on the on? choke? And- Can you turn it on for me? <laughs> <laughs> is this a Husqvarna? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Um, so they're like, yeah, so all that dude would have had to do with that big fucking six foot long redwood, uh, chainsaw is just hit him and then go, bam, like turn it <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Absolutely. But for theatrics <laughs> purpose, it doesn't happen. They get into a legit <laughs> sword fight with a, a chainsaw. Yeah. Oh. oh man. And so he ends up like 
beating the shit out of the big dude and making him flop down and land on the chainsaw, which is on. You never see the chainsaw. Though. No, not at all. That was disappointing. You don't see. I don't I think you to see, see blood. It, I wanted to see it. Oh, there's a lot of blood. Was there? Oh yeah. It started like shooting out from it. Oh, front of him. he was like he hands was up like, and he's like yeah, not trying spasming. to stop himself. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> he just fell straight down on the chainsaw, which happened to be on. So yeah, that's how that guy died. Which is a weird thing too, because natural instinct is to first brace yourself from falling. And the dude had a perfect opportunity. Oh, yeah. He didn't Absolutely. fall backwards onto no, it. His hands were just straight out like he was flying. But I feel like if you were to fall on a chainsaw, you would push yourself off pretty fucking quick because it's not going to cut you in half like well, right away. The chainsaw also won't be locked on. You have to pull the trigger in order to get it to, yeah. to spin. So, big flaw there. Yeah. Bucko. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all the other stuff too, yeah, but uh, we don't still talk about a that. sick fucking movie. <laughs> so, after he kills that guy, he ends up finding like the, the cult leader's church, wherever the fuck that pyramid place was. Excellent. I mean, a marvel of modern oh, it was beautiful. engineering. Beautiful place. It was like in a clear cut area and it was just this fucking log pyramid built, huge church looking thing. Was it, was it an upside down cross that was on it? Was no, it, it was, up? they were, uh, the cult was a religious based thing, but they were surprisingly anti. It was weird because he talked about talking Christ. to God and being about Christ and, and then he was just totally it's anti. Like some, there's some, <clears throat> some religious sects that don't believe that Jesus was a prophet yeah. and some do. And so they were kind of on the side, like against Christ. Yeah. Gotcha. gotcha. The false prophet is what they said. Got it. So, so Jeremiah he was like, guy. I think he, he was like, was like God I'm talks not, to me and tells, yeah. tells me I, I, I get whatever one. I want. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a very real thing for some of these fucking cults. Yep, absolutely. So, Red walks into this place and ends up um, finding the old chick from the beginning of the movie who was like the Pleasure Jeremiah or whatever. And the she just starts nasty. fucking talking about sucking dicks and... She's like, I can pleasure. Every, uh, uh, everybody at this point starts talking about sucking it's dicks. It's true. It's true. <laughs> so she's like saying, "Oh, I could, I could please you, if you know." They trying say, to get out of what it. What does she say? She says, "Jeremiah says I'm the most sensual yes, lover he's yes. ever had." But she's all old and <laughs> because, saggy titties. Because of my empathy. It's got them saggy nipples. Yeah. The fucking pepperonis that hang to the fucking her fucking frumpy old <laughs> fat upper pussy. So, he ends up chopping her head off, which is kind of cool. Because he took- Throws it. Do you see that or does he throw- Does the he, next all you see th- is All you see is he throws the head at, at, at Jeremiah, Jeremiah, who's in this weird fucking room just dancing around by himself. <laughs> yeah. Who's- It's in like they're digging a tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. So, they're like trying to expand the place probably. Or they're trying to find the underworld. I don't know. Trying to find the mole people. Gee, for there episode you go. 13. They, exactly what they're doing. But they're benevolent. <laughs> they're benevolent. They're not fucking crazy. Yeah. Whatever. So, I mean, this end, end state is they kill themselves anyway. The, the fucking everybody, <laughs> the OLP. Yeah. But. So, Jeremiah comes at Red and he's just like, you, at first he's saying, you can't do anything to me. Oh, this is my, this is my house. I get whatever I want. And, and then, then he says, I'll suck <laughs> your dick as well. <laughs> and he he's, gets on his knees to gets, suck his dick. He gets upset and scared and he says. <laughs> He says, we all suck your dick. Do you want me to suck your dick? Seriously, man. He's like turned into MacGruber. <laughs> Come on, bro. Pick something in here and I'll fuck it for you. <laughs> so, Red grabs the dude's head and it's- Oh, I forgot. I was like, I went, for a second, I was like, how the fuck does he kill him? I'm like, just, yeah, I remember. He just starts squeezing from the sides and fucking pops the dude's head. <laughs> just fucking smushes it. His, his eyeballs pop out. His face just- Yeah. And, and then, uh, fast forward- uh, Red is just, he's got a bad case of PTSD. Absolutely. Like, really bad and he's looking in the passenger seat, sees his wife, uh, so he's, he's a spirit. He's still covered in blood, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> he's just driving home and he sees his wife sitting in the passenger seat, even though she's dead. Yeah. You know. And he's just smiling with blood cover. Uh, I was thinking that was like the happiest he, Like more, ever. more than a regular smile. This yeah. was- <laughs> He's like, ah! This like, is dude. eyes, eyes <laughs> peeled back, fucking- Ear to ear smile. This is like you get really al- along really well with the the during happy hour Applebee's <laughs> type of smile. And she's like, "I got a fresh beer for you." And this is, you're just like, "Ah, <laughs> it's that kind of weird, creepy yeah. from the dude who's old as fuck and like hitting on the young waitress." <laughs> it's that kind of smile. And you dilated pupils because he's high as fuck too. 
Yeah, he's still tripped out in fucking coke. I think the LSD wore off real quick. Had to be. Coke and LSD. It's weird. I've never done either of those things. but Especially uh, not together. (laughs) Maybe some of the people that are listening uh, are like, yeah, it all makes sense. (laughs) It's like, oh, dude, that's that's my weekend. I killed like four of those black things. (laughs) Yeah. So, I really liked the movie. What do you think? It was it was interesting. It was different. So, out of five stars, out of five- It definitely get like- Out of five a- Death Cheetah, we're going to give it a new ranking if we do these movie <laughs> things. Uh, on like a scale it. of one to five Death Cheetahs, what would you rank it? On a scale of weirdness, it's definitely a five Death Cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of, was it like a critically acclaimed movie? That'd be like a two Cheetah. <laughs> one or two. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't like- this plot changed my life. Like, I love this movie type of thing. Yeah. But it was cool to watch because it was so fucking different and yeah. weird. It kept you watching. That's yeah. for sure. And you knew what was going on, even though we're very confused right yeah. now. Yeah. I think Go that happens totally. afterwards. I'd fucking like, let my tiger out too. Yeah. yeah you're like, because you're like, oh, it's going to fucking eat him or something. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you, you knew what was happening the whole time. And like, even the weird shit that we're talking about that we didn't understand, like you knew, like you didn't know what it was about, but it wasn't like, wait, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. Uh, when I watched it the whole time, I was like, this is a five fucking death cheetah. It's not like I thought about it. It was, <laughs> yeah. it was like, while you're watching, it's five death cheetah. And it, at least for me. Yeah. And then as the days go by, <laughs> and to right now, I think I'm at a hard three <laughs> cheetah, three cheetah, three death cheetah. Because uh, it's not a movie I want to. When I watched it, I like post up about it. I was like, this is the fucking coolest yeah. shit ever. And then as the days <laughs> went by, I was just like, I could deal with not seeing that again. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to watch it again. I, I mean, it would be – I would maybe buy it if I was collecting movies. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it was like a $5 movie. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah and the Walmart bin. <laughs> no, I might – I mean, I might – I wouldn't watch it again for sure just because you kind of get the whole gist. But I would yeah. read about it. Like, yeah. Like okay. I, yeah, I said, absolutely. Yeah. I'll probably, probably some backstory forget stuff. about reading it later. And yeah. Because it – it's interesting. It's an interesting movie and I, I would say for sure you should go fucking check it out. Yeah, you should absolutely. go watch it. Like, I know some of you don't have anything fucking better to do because you're listening to us right now. I'm <laughs> sure that we got them some views, at least one for a few minutes and then they're like, fuck this, man. <laughs> they just fast forward to Jeremiah jerking his stick. Yeah. I don't believe he was jerking off. I still, <laughs> dude, I still, I'm, I'm still resolved you, to the same. The dude was he trying, he was trying to I get think it. he was rubbing him, himself yeah, like I this. I think like, he was trying oh, to get it up. He was doing this, like this, <laughs> leaning Belly back rub. looking. He was, he was vigorously jerking yeah. his dick because his face was shaking. And he just, yeah. just, just, just. I think one of the, one of the coolest parts about it though that I liked the most was the visual styling of it. Yes. Was the red light constantly. Mm-hmm. It was I think on a different kind of movie, it might be overwhelming where it's like, yeah, God, absolutely. you're doing this thing. It's like, but fuck, it, turn that fucking It light. was, you know, really well placed and like, mm-hmm. it's it's a cool, I can't describe really, but there's a bunch of red, it's called color grading and it's just like the over overarching uh, like color scheme of it and they use it to um, portray a certain emotion. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was the cool, I think that was one of the coolest things about it is how they tied that in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, the, with using that and then there is it to me it was like they were trying to um make it seem like you were immersed in it by the whole lsd trip thing so yeah yeah the the basis of the movie had a lot to do with the lsd and they're like okay we're gonna make the audience feel like they're on lsd yeah because you feel (laughs) crazy watching it yeah you're just like it's like you're in it and you don't know, and then after you come out, you're like, what and then the you're fuck? Like, what was I just watching? Oh, he just rode off happily into the sunset, and yeah, I don't get so it now. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. I've when got you, more questions yeah, than answers, I'm never gonna absolutely. try to. You know. uh, but yeah, so that cool movie. Go see it. Go watch it and tell us how many death cheetahs you give it. Yeah, <laughs> we comment with as many death cheetahs, which people will because lately people have been <laughs> sending me DMs without any preparatory anything <laughs> no premise just like, they just fucking i'm like oh he must be talking about it. <laughs> they must be talking about an episode nice <laughs> and i try to answer and i was like trying to remember what the fuck did i talk about <laughs> eventually you don't remember this shit i think when we were on like a few episodes i would but yeah thanks for everybody that's commenting uh weird stuff about episodes like really obscure portions from episodes mm-hmm. um we talked about something earlier, and we're getting away from this movie review, but the Georgia Guidestones. Yeah. Let's get into that, and oh, then we'll wrap man. this shit up. Georgia Guidestones. If you haven't heard of that, it's like a... Okay, so we could go. We could do a whole fucking episode on this. I mean, we could. Do you want to... Let's do that. Okay. Because that, that leaves us for another day. Yeah. So, if Georgia Guidestones, we'll get into that, and... uh it's fucking cool. Maybe do it later this week. 
Cool. Now you got something going on tomorrow, but maybe after that. Yep. Thursday or Friday or something like that. We could that. do it tomorrow after the thing's done. I'm good for What it. time? It's like 12 to 1. That's it. Okay, we'll see. Cool. Play by ear. Um, yeah, we'll get into that next time. Uh, but yeah, that was our movie review. We're not fucking, we're not giving it two thumbs up or two thumbs down. We're just giving it fucking three and how many death well, shooters? Giant sword to the fucking asshole. We'll give something. it one giant sword to the asshole. <laughs> um, and two death shooters. And two death shooters. <laughs> So take that with for what it's worth. But while you're watching it, it's five deaths. <laughs> yeah, go see Mandy, uh, and you get it off of Amazon. I just picked up a copy for a dude that's deployed that was just like, oh, nice. I can't watch it, and I sent it to him. Uh, Sick. So I think he should be getting it soon. Maybe not. Maybe because he's, Amazon- he's gonna watch it with everybody, and you'd be like, what the fuck <laughs> did I watch? I give that zero death cheetahs. <laughs> yeah, thanks for everybody to uh, like listen to this fucking episode, and you know. Oh, by the way, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, everybody that listened to the episode, thank you so much. Uh, thank you to the Patreons. Thank you to uh, Mark here. Uh, what do you got? Anything uh, closing? Well, if you liked our movie review for, for this oh, one. Oh, fuck. We talked about it We're going to do another one. I, we mentioned this at the beginning of the episode. There's a movie I have right here for Mike. He's got to watch it now called Yellow Brick Road. It looks so shitty. <laughs> Yellow Brick Road is not three different words. On this. It's one fucking word I just realized. And I found out <laughs> talking to Mark, it has nothing to do with The Wizard of Oz. There is, I mean, there, they mention it vaguely in there yeah. just because Fake. the land of oz and they think that all these people disappeared to it but anyways did you we'll see the second wizard of oz have you ever I, seen the yes. second? that one's weird as fuck that's like an evil weird. evil version <laughs> yeah and then there's a michael jackson <laughs> version <laughs> called the oz yes where he doesn't fuck children in it. <laughs> great movie <laughs> i mean in the land of oz you're pretty safe to not get fucked by the scarecrow mike michael jackson but you probably get fucked by him in real well, life i mean everything it looks corpse. Cool. it's halloween anything can happen <laughs> half the people are children in, yeah. in oz or they at least the size of them yeah so but, uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna review the yellow brick road also uh it's a pretty fucking weird movie so yeah that'll be fun i don't really like horror films or like thrillers like even even if somebody was like you gotta go see mandy i'd be like i ah, just watch a comedy yeah. i'm not like into that shit but mm-hmm. like when i watch them i'm like that's cool i i have serious doubts about this one <laughs> i feel like it's gonna be like what the fuck did you make me watch <laughs> yes but i'm, but I'm that's, exci- a, that's exactly what's gonna happen. i'm excited to do the <laughs> podcast afterwards not so much the the fucking the first part but uh, thanks, everybody, for listening. We're going to close this out. Go to AriesClothing.com, EvilVibesCo.com. And uh, if you need some energy to get as hyped as we are for this episode, for like, you're not on any episodes. Maybe you're doing a podcast. <laughs> if, you, if you're doing a podcast, go to StrikeForceEnergy.com, use code EvilVibes, and... Just make sure you're drinking it while you watch Mandy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could do... You can't prep for that movie. It's just weird. You got to... <laughs> Absolutely. You got to do it. But anyway... Thanks, Mark, for being on again. No problem, bro. See you again this week. And then after we close this episode, I'll see you then. We'll talk a little bit more. Hell yes. Later. Bye-bye. If you like this episode, please consider subscribing to us on Patreon by visiting patreon.com forward slash violent professional. By subscribing, you have access to all the episodes as soon as we upload, as well as bonus content that you can't see anywhere else. You can also support us by simply giving us a positive rating on your listening platform of choice. And above all, thank you for the continued support of the Violent Professional Podcast.